All right, guys. So, welcome back to another video. This is Tekken Gaming Reviews, and as you already know from the title of the video and the box behind us, we have officially received our LG C3 65-inch OLED TV that is going to be replacing our C1 that we have originally used in our living room, and I I'm really thrilled to see how much better in the brightness and the HDR highlights that ratings.com has got this TV rated over the LG C1, and from the measurements, this TV is going to be a good, decent, bleh. I know I messed up there. It's going to be a good, decent bit brighter than the LG C1 when it comes to SDR, and especially as HDR highlights are concerned. And for the gaming, there's actually the same exact gaming features on this bad boy like the C1, but there's actually some extra benefits with that. There's actually more features and just, you know, a whole new menu system when it comes to the gaming landscape. So, honestly, this is probably one of the best gaming TVs, if not the best gaming TV, alongside the Samsung S90C, which we are, as far as it's looking like, we might actually be getting that TV by next weekend. But for the meantime, we are now got this TV on a leasing right now, and we are going to try to get it paid off within three months. But as soon as our Samsung refund gets delivered back, that is when we are going to purchase the S90C, and we are supposed to get that money back on, I think, this coming up Tuesday from the message that I received. But here it is. Here is the LG C3, so let's do this unboxing and let's get her set up. So right now, we have two things that we need to put this TV together. We have the scissors to pretty much break the wrap. Sometimes it's a little, you know, hard. And honestly, I might have to get new scissors at some point. And then we got our little screwdriver to put the screws in and then that way put the stand together and then we can just set it up right here on our stand replacing our C1. Now we've already took down our LG C1 so our entertainment stand is completely already ready for the C3. But the LG C1 is still a good TV as well but this one is definitely going to be a bit better when it comes to brightness and just HDR highlights and just having some, you know, more extra benefits when it comes to gaming with, like, more features and such. So, let's get started, and let's unbox this TV right now. But, I do have to give it to everybody, and OLEDs are definitely the way to go when it comes to, basically, gaming. Like, no matter if you get... LG's traditional OLEDs, or basically like Samsung S90C QD OLEDs, you know, or whatever, you're pretty much got the best gaming performance out there. Like when it comes to picture quality and just input latency, I mean, OLED is just the best way to go. Now, I personally would recommend going for a Samsung QD OLED over a LG traditional OLEDs because if you want the more like premium picture quality, then that is what you're going to get with a QD OLED. Now, that doesn't mean that LG's OLEDs are that bad, because they're truthfully not. You're still going to get nice rich colors and nice contrast, and as with the C3, and most likely going to be an improvement with the C4, they're starting to get decently you know, having good, decent brightness, especially when you compare a room that we're actually in, which we have a window here, and then we got a window over there. So this probably is going to be bright enough to overcome this room. Even the C1 was still okay. Now, this is the one that is a little bit hard. Let's actually go to a different spot. Yep. 
Right there is all we had to do. All right. Uh, let's see. I just sat down. Oh, <laughs> I set the freaking screwdriver right here on the couch. All right. Now we got to take this bad boy out and put her together. All right. And another thing, what's nice about this over our C1 is that it is definitely uh, supposed to be like 70% lighter than the LG C1 and that was another thing what got us to buy the C3 is because our stand uh, the LG C1 was just so like heavy that our stand started to like you know like leaning because of how heavy it was but this one this is definitely not going to do no nothing to our TV or not TV but <laughs> entertainment stand I should say all right we can get it out. All right. Set this box over on the side now. And, whoa. I just freaking touched that and it just shocked me a little bit. Now, this is still very impressive with how thin that the OLEDs get. Now, this is not quite as thin as our C1, but it, it's still pretty darn thin. It's still almost like paper thin. So we're going to go on ahead. That's that's another thing too forgot to do. Probably forgot to figure out how to get it out of the box and such. Put those off to the side. Ooh, there's our stand. Yeah. Not even heavy at all. Definitely. So here is our stand. Let's see how we put it together. Now, I'm somebody, I did get offered to get a, man, that's so cold. Holy crap. But that is made of metal. I, I, I definitely am kind of shocked that this is actually not warmed up much, especially being in this room. But then again, it was in a semi-truck in the cold and such for pretty much quite a while, so... And it is metal. Metal does take a bit la longer to warm up than anything else like that. Alright, so here is the stand that you get with the C3. And you also get this with the C2 as well. And probably most likely going to be with the C4 when it comes out in just uh, about a few months from right now. This is probably the same stand. Alright, so we're going to put it on the couch for right now so we can get this TV. Let's see, I know there's, there's probably a better way to do this. We should. Let's see. Um, yeah, <laughs> something tells me I probably should do this a better way, but then again, okay, this is the back and this is the front. Okay. So if I think, we might just be able to lift this up, put it on the couch, and boom, screw that in right down there. That's actually a good idea. Oh, here's our C1 remote, which is definitely going to be compatible with that. I probably should move, move these styrofoam out of the way for now <laughs> so it doesn't just take up space. And move this, and then... Alright. Move our stand here. Actually, I'm probably just going to put it on the entertainment stand for right now. Alright. Now, this is the tricky part. Um, I'm definitely going to move this stuff right now from the couch. And now we got a clear spot. Okay. Yeah, this is the tricky part. Um, holy crap, that definitely is not heavy at all. Okay. I think I could just... Here, let's just... We could just probably scoot it up. Probably do this, I think. 
and because there's the front of the screen. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely, uh, not too heavy, actually. Like, holy crap, I, I didn't even freaking struggle there. Okay, now this is the other bad part, at least, at least the screen is up. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I gotta, yeah, maybe this ain't a good idea. Unless I do maybe this way. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. That's definitely a bit more satisfied. Well, safe, I should say. Okay. Alright, now we got our power cord and, well, no, that's the power cord all together. Huh. I think our remote, I wonder where our remote is. Did we get our remote? Hmm. Very interesting, unless it's with our TV itself, or it might actually be probably out. It's probably at the front or something. Okay. As much as I hate to do this, we gotta. F oh, yeah. Okay, so our screws and everything. Hmm. Might actually still be in the box. Oh, yeah. I, I believe it is. As long as we can break this little styrofoam. Because that's where the remote and everything is. It's literally just like under this. Oh, we almost got it. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, we're pulling it, but it's still, it's still just really tough to get it out. You know what? Yeah, right down there is where, where our remote and everything is. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> that styrofoam's definitely in there pretty darn tight. As a matter of fact, I probably should try down here. There we go. That actually works. Wow. I was not expecting it to make that noise. Unless that's probably the remote then it's up to that just fail. Alright, well now we gotta move it down here. I guess we just gotta keep going up and down moving this thing. Well, and we're starting to get somewhere. There we go. Alright. Yep, there's the remote. Just where you thought it would be. In the very, very bottom. Okay. Well, might as well just do this. There. There we go. And looks like. Hmm. There's some plastic pieces that looks like it goes to the stand. Okay. And that looks like that's pretty much everything. All right. All right. Wait, what? Huh. That's very interesting. Um, let's actually look at this. Let's see how good that the remote is. There's definitely not a spot, so we have to 
break it. Until I dropped it. Alright, let's look at the remote difference here real quick. And, uh, man, even the freaking remote is even cold. And that's plastic, that's not even metal. That is kind of strange that that's actually freaking real freaking cold. Oh, there's all thing around it. All right, so let's look at the two remotes, wherever the heck I put the other one. Oh, I put it right over here. Okay. So, honestly, um, okay, so I have, oh, well, maybe that's not it. I was going to say, this one looks like it's more close to the center, but, uh, yeah, honestly, the remotes actually literally look pretty much the same, so it looks like it's exactly the same remote. Yeah. It's got all the same stuff. All well, nope, I see a big difference right now. These two buttons are different. You got, um... Alexa or whatever some Google voice assistant, but you got well you got Alexa on this one and you got Sling TV So they definitely did change some stuff with the remote So This is the old remote and this is our new one. So our new one is the one that's got Sling TV and Google Alexa or whatever right there for our voice commands Okay, now we got to find the screws here, and that, hmm, that's interesting, that looks like an actual freaking mic, and here's our guide of setting it up, alright, we get four screws there, and all oh, clips on the thing, so right there's that, then we get four other screws, and our two batteries. Okay. Now we gotta look at this stand real quick. Okay. So it looks to be, okay, this is the front. No, this is the front. Because as long as this comes out, this is the back. And you got two screws down there. I do remember putting this together. But I just forget how we did it with the C2, because I know pretty much this is literally exactly the same as the LG C2. Hold on. We're going to have to look at the quick, uh, not quick start guide, but um, we're going to have to look at the manual real fast to see how that stand goes together. If there's even one, but I don't, there usually is, so I don't know why I would say if there's even one. That's not it. Um, should be one of these, how you to put it together. Okay, that's not it. That's definitely not it. Okay, so here... Oh, okay. Here's all the different models. Okay, that's not what we want. We want to find the stand. Okay, hold on. We're, we're getting somewhere now. Okay, the stand's not there. Troubleshooting, prefer. Okay, so this must be the TV itself, so this is not the specifications, so this might be. Now, that's the remote. And this doesn't say either. So, that is very strange. Like, there's not even, like, a thing that shows you, like, 
pretty much like how to put the stain together. Like, that's just weird. Let's see, before reading this, this is safety. Yeah, let's. That is a bit fishy. That that does not have the thing that tells you how to put the stand together. Like that is just like insane. Unless it's this, and it's not even that either. Yeah, that's that's just ridiculous. That that doesn't have no freaking. No nothing to tell you how to put the TV together. But, uh, well, I guess we'll just figure it out on ourselves. Unless we got it somewhere and we don't know about it. Hold on a second. There's something else in there. Oh, it's just clips. Okay. We could probably figure it out, probably, most likely. Okay, so the stand is here. Okay. Okay, two screws go here. Then we got two others that go there. But it says we got four. Or we got, um... Let me see what this one says. Oh, okay. So these must be... Man, I just broke that. <laughs> Which, don't bother me. It's just trash. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, these might actually be for... Oh, wait, hold on. We got two other stands here. Alright, let's take this out. Oh, uh, okay. So we got four screws that this goes on to. Okay. Now it's starting to come back. Um, let's go like that, I think. Oh, yeah, it does. This goes on like that. But I think the other way. Yeah. Oh, no. That was right. Oh, yeah. I was right the first time. Stupid. Stupid tech and gaming reviews, I know. Ah. Okay, four screws. And these screws go into right there. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. There's my work hat. Okay, but what kind of screws go into there? Well, only one way to find out. We try to put the screws in. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Now I get it. We're supposed to put... Okay. Okay, yeah, now we got it. Ah, we we're getting to it. Let's see, we put screws in to in these holes, and it's supposed to keep the thing locked. All right, now I gotta find out where my screwdriver is. Sorry, I have to keep checking an eye just to make sure the video is still going. So, so far, it is going. All right, let's see here. I think these are the screws that go into that. These. Hmm. Um, okay, yeah, these are the tinier screws. These are slightly bigger, so these go in this thing. Not too much left, guys, till we finally get our C3 all set up. Until, if I can open this thing. <laughs> all right. Just cut it, actually. And I gotta make sure I don't drop the screws there. Actually, I'm just gonna leave this. Leave the screwdriver and everything right there. All right. Let's see. So, so if you ever do get the LG C3 or 
even better yet, if you probably get the C4, because I'm going to assume the C4, at least the C4, is probably going to be the exact same stand that you get as the C3 and last year's model, the C2. But these are the screws that you will indeed be getting when it comes to putting the C3 and most likely probably the C4, maybe even the C5 together. So you're going to get four tinier screws that looks like that is for to put in the piece on the back of the TV. And then you got this to put the two stand pieces together. And as you're seeing, they are a slightly bit bigger than these other screws right here in our hand. I know I keep showing you. But yeah, see the difference? See how much tinier they're? Bleh. Tinier they are. And then these ones are slightly bulkier. So just keep that in mind if you get the C3 or even if you can get lucky and find a C2. But most likely, even with the C4 and probably the C5, I don't think that LG is going to switch out the stands. But they possibly might. But I highly doubt that's going to be the case, especially with the C4. Okay, so we got our first screw, and then we put this one, yep, that's exactly what this one's for. Well, if we can get it, we gotta undo it, because I think the stand's not white on there properly. Okay. Hold on a second. So we would be putting this. Okay, yeah. Just like that. Alright, so we got to get this somehow all put together. Hmm. That is so strange that these screws are so heavy. Hold on a second. I have to figure something out here. Because I did not have no problem doing this with the C2 last year. Yeah, something's... I'm wondering... These screws are the little ones that go in there. I don't think they are. Because they're so tiny. Hmm. You know something? I think we did put this backwards. Or no? This is right. We clicked it in. Oh yeah, this is pro this is right. Cause I just see that there's stuff that goes down in there. Yeah, that's that's a bit strange. Maybe we should try a different screw. Maybe that could be a slightly messed up one. Okay. Unless... Yeah, that's not... This is not right. Something we're not doing properly. Yeah, we're not doing something right or it's we're putting the wrong screws in maybe. Maybe these ones go into the TV itself. We'll have to try it. 
Okay, no. These do go in here, just unless we. very strange because those do look like they go in to these So, we're going to go on ahead and end this as unboxing part one, because somehow I can't figure out, like, how the screw go in, the screws go in to match this piece, but every time that I put it in, the screw just gets tighter without even going barely in, so I'm going to have to do a part two once we finish figuring out this, so stay tuned for part two, uh, setting up the TV, and then our part three would be the review video, so stay tuned for part two coming up.